Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So in this episode, in this episode, in this uh, video, we're going to do chapter 4 verse 15. I think that's better because I used to say today we're going to do and then if I'm shooting multiple videos today, then how do I, how does that work? So I think this works better. This video we're going to shoot, <laughs> we're going to talk about. Okay. Um, the thing on my mind right now is uh, material versus spiritual. So again, I a lot of what I'm, my entire last six years, <laughs> seven years of my life have been all personal growth. And uh, now I'm going into the spiritual growth, but spiritual growth through the lens of the uh, Indian Hindu scriptures through the lens of the Vedas and the uh, uh, Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is why I'm studying the Gita, and uh, through the ISKCON approved texts right now. At this moment, I'm very specifically going to ISKCON approved texts because I want to give it my best shot and see whether I resonate with it before I take on any other path. So far, this one resonates the most because they talk about bhakti, which means love. And uh, it resonates with me so hard. <laughs> like I just, I want so badly to have a pure heart, or a heart of unconditional love, a heart that is feeling immense love from God or, and a heart that's feeling immense love for God and for everybody else because I'm so nourished and fulfilled by my love from God that I don't need anyone else to give me anything. I don't need them to like me or whatever. I just feel this immense amount of love for them no matter what. And I feel like doing something for them, um, whatever makes them happy, not coming from a place of insecurity, I'll do whatever makes you happy at the cost of pain to me like that way, but coming from a place of insecurity, but the exact same thing coming from a place of deep sense, deep seated security, you know, I want to do for you because I have compassion for you because I, I, I feel your pain. I have empathy for you. I feel your pain. And um, I want to do whatever I can to reduce your pain. I want to do whatever I can to give you, bring you joy. But not be, not coming, from, because it doesn't pain me. Like if you express your fear to me and your pain body to me in Eka Tolle's terms, he uses the word pain, the words pain body. So if you express your pain body to me, it just washes over me and it doesn't affect me. I don't take it personally. And uh, I am able to just let it flow through me, past me, whatever, and uh, then I'm able to give to you what you need from that place of deep-seated secure. Oh my God, that's just, it, it feels incredible, and this um, path gives a path to that. This <laughs> this uh, ISKCON world gives a path exactly to that, you know, to, they, they keep mentioning the word soften the heart, to, instead of hardening the heart, you soften the heart, and you, you just, just expose the heart as much as you can, so yeah. Um, so yes, what I was thinking about was personal growth versus um, spiritual growth, Krishna consciousness world, and uh, in terms of material versus spiritual. So in the Krishna consciousness world, there is a very big difference between material and spiritual. In the personal growth world, everything that you see around you is spiritual. Um, we do like you know the the phrase, the common phrase there is that we do not grow, we do not, we are not uh, human beings uh, uh, living in a spiritual world where spiritual beings living in a material in a human world or a material world or whatever it is whatever the phrase goes um so i one of the things that i kind of resisted when i started the krishna consciousness exploration was this like because i was like everything is spiritual if we just look look at it from a different perspective if we look at it from a deeper perspective we see that it is spiritual and uh, now i'm starting to feel that maybe it's not maybe there is a material thing and a spiritual thing and the material thing get, gets pulls us away from the spiritual world so um, we can use anything for spirituality we can use money for spirituality it doesn't mean that money is material you know and uh, um, 
prayer is spiritual like a person can be in um in the forest renouncing everything renouncing money and sitting in the forest and doing like this big sacrifices and tapasya and all of that for years just sitting there in one posture and praying and everything and that person may not be spiritual because he may have just a huge amount of ego look at me i have given up everything i am so advanced in my spiritual life that's not being spiritual because the ego is not spiritual and then a person may have an immense amount of money with them and they may be spiritual because they're not affected by money they could give up that money any time they they're not they're not owned and controlled by that money you know um so yeah so it's not the thing necessarily it's not the specific thing necessarily and uh yeah um it it is i think the attachment to the thing the the how much does that thing control you like if you don't have it tomorrow can you be happy anyways can you um yeah i have to think about it i i'm i'm not going to waste your time right now thinking about it but something there there is something there you know there is something there okay so let's do um 415 <sighs> ज्ञावा कर्म पूर्वी मुमोक्ष कुरुकर्म तस्मा पूर्व ही पूर्वतर okay so he says all the liberated souls in ancient times acted with this understanding of my transcendental nature therefore you should perform your duty following in their footsteps so people who have been liberated have understood my transcendental nature they have understood that i like god have do not have this uh, desire for fruit of activities which he spoke about in the previous verse therefore you should perform your duty which is karma yoga following in their footsteps so let's go to the word by word evam gyatva kritam karma thus knowing well kritam karma was performed the work um purvai api mumakshabhi by past authorities who attained liberation so those past authorities or those sages or those whoever who have attained liberation um they knew well the work that was performed um basically they knew my transcendental nature i think that's how is trans um translating it guru karmaiva tasmatva purvai um just perform your prescribed duties therefore um tvam you you just perform your, therefore you just perform your prescribed duties purvai purva taram kritam um by the predecessor predecessors purvai purvaj pur like you know previous people previous predecessors <laughs> previous people purva taram in ancient times kritam as performed do uh, yeah you should perform your duty you should do that you should do therefore what your predecessors did in your ancient times okay again i don't fully understand this it ties into the previous verse and i don't fully understand how understanding that god is out of this fruit of action thing and he is not in it um will liberate us but okay um i if when i don't understand things i just let them sit and eventually <laughs> something happens and i do understand them or many times this something happens that i and i understand okay um wish you a beautiful spiritual journey radhe radhe